Gravity with Sandra Bullock and George Clee. Boring. That was a boring space movie. Interstellar. It was literally like a no. long Lincoln car commercial with Matthew McConaughey being like, I'm going to save everybody. No. Or however he talks. You know that I will wait for you However long you want me to Oh, isn't that What's up and welcome back to Caffeine Not Included. Uh, that song was by Shipwreck. It's called Wait For You. The song's called Wait For yeah, You. Yeah, it's by Shipwreck. Shipwreck. Yeah, but it's wreck like W-R-E-K. Like I'm so wrecked. Yeah, like wrecked. Like I'm, I had so much to drink, I'm wrecked. And then you listen to the song and you're like, oh man, I feel like I'm on a shipwreck. No, it was good. It, it, like when I heard it, I was like, that, that sounds like us. Yeah, it sounds like us. Yeah. It sounds like us. But Very all the songs are starting to sound the same. They'll have that like. <laughs> I tried to go and add cheer. Oh, yeah. Every, you're saying in today's society? Yeah, yeah it's got like that like dub. Like Maybe we'll just put a country song on next week. I blame Ed Sheeran for all these problems. Oh, Let's get into our first story. So a lot of people have been asking about this. They say, what, why is there a Tide Pod on your desk? First of all, don't worry about what we do. But this story is related. There's a new invention out there that you need to know about. Do you like whiskey, first yeah, of all? Everyone, I, mean, I like whiskey. Like, if there's no White Claws, would you drink whiskey? <laughs> yeah, I'm drinking the whiskey. Yeah. Well, this company came out that, that has been around a long time, Glenlivet. Uh, and they have created a seaweed capsule similar to this where you can have whiskey. And so you just, just go, a... you just pop it in your mouth and you drink whiskey. First of all... Kids are going to put these in their butts. So that was a bad invention. That is the first thing that's going to happen. Is this even real? Yes, I think it's real. I don't know. It's been on their Twitter page for five days. They haven't taken it down. They're standing firm behind this. No glass. No stirring. It's good for the environment. No ice. It's, it's great for everybody. Do you they put just, them in your purse? Dude, like, how do you travel with that? They're laying it out on, like, a charcuterie board. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a degum. Like, take your pick mm. of whiskey. What do you want? Yeah, whatever you need. I love it. I hope it is real. I would drink like this. This it's, would be some way It's that, a great Christmas gift for your father, let me tell you. You just pop it in your mouth. But the fact that we worked so hard to make kids not eat these, and now we literally are enticing them with whiskey-flavored pouches for their mouth, I, I don't think it's it probably a horrible idea. It doesn't but. make any sense at all. But is it saving you any time? You're just going to rip a shot or you're going to pop a little thing in your mouth? No, right? this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. You wouldn't use it? No. I mean, I'm curious. I'd be like, you would, you would probably like, try I would try it, it for yeah. sure. I definitely would try it. But How I, do you order that? I mean, can I have a pod? Have I'll a take pod. two pods. Two, you mean no, the Glenn no, Levitt Three pods. The three of us. Yeah, so this is a thing you can watch. Uh, obviously, you've seen some footage here. I think if it's a troll, if they trolled us, it's the greatest marketing Scheme. campaign since the last one I said was the greatest. This is I love when people do this, when they get attention. You're going to order it. It's going to come to your house in a box. It's going to have like shredded paper, and you're just going to like move it aside, and there's going to be perfectly placed pods of whiskey. But see, I don't like... Uh, can you freeze them? That Can you freeze the seaweed? I don't like I don't know. warm whiskey. I guess we're going to try that next week on Caffeine Not Included. We'll right. freeze them. If anybody has seen these or knows somebody in the in the spirit business, we want to be the first <laughs> to try these. I will eat them all. <laughs> next in the news. Uh, it's been a while since we've had a crazy celebrity. Most celebrities are borderline. They're, they have problems. But I like when they're a really hot mess. I like, like my uh, celebrities really messed up. Like getting tattoos of other celebrities on their face. Yeah. Like people will say, oh, Brittany, you know, she's doing so good. I prefer her a smeary mess. I like Lindsay Lohan when she's off the wagon. I like my celebrities. Because it's entertaining for you. It's the, inter- it's the entertainment value is there. That's what you should be like when you're a celebrity. You should be almost off the rails and your management should be in crisis mode 24-7 or you're not doing it right. And Aaron Carter... <laughs> Is doing it right. I'm well, a fan he, again. He got himself back in the news for sure. Definitely putting old Riri on his face is a big jump. And then all this talk about going to Canada. He's going to live I'm in Canada. out of here. Goodbye. Peace is out. Peace if you're out. following this story for the first time, so there's a whole lot of family drama. Uh, first of all, if he is uh, having mental problems, that's sad. But let's just pretend he's not because it's more no. fun. Mm-hmm. So apparently he's fighting with his family and there's restraining orders being thrown around and people are suing other people and... Um, He's really getting into it with his brother, Nick Carter. Now, you said you like Aaron Carter's music better. And no, I, I would d- like oh, you to whoa. That. You did. Time out you here. Did. I said that when I was 10 years old and I was going to school, my mom would drop in a little Aaron Carter CD and we'd play a little, you know, because, you know, I'm 10. 
I'm not saying I've listened to any Aaron Carter music <laughs> no. in, in the year 2000s, uh -huh. okay? Haven't. Uh -huh. I couldn't tell you one song. <laughs> so what are you going to say, or how are you going to start? You're calling I'm just me right calling now. You right. I'm calling you. Ah, ringtone. That's interesting. That seems very familiar, actually. I uh -huh. know what you're talking about. Uh -huh. Bam. Well, you know who's not bopping Aaron Carter now? Nick Carter. He is over it. <laughs> He's done. He's like, you never would have made it in this Backstreet Boy. This is why dad hates you or whatever's going on over there. And so the kids had enough and he went to the tattoo shop. And oh, by the way, they checked on him a couple times. So no, he went on Dr. Phil. That was a whole mess. His behavior is alarming a little bit, but but all that aside, I felt bad for him right up until the Rihanna face tattoo. That's where he... I don't he lost it. my sympathy. I didn't. I don't feel like the face tat is even that good, though. It doesn't even really look like Rihanna like that much, right? It's on his face. And it's like, yeah, it's like it's it's too much. So what does he do next? He moves to Canada. He just reportedly <laughs> bought a house in Canada, and he's gonna go live up there in Deeperland. In the mountains. Yeah, he said, "I'm out." He said, "America's too crazy for him." Right? He's out. He's out. And my only question for you is face tattoos. Where do you stand on it? Um. It, it depends. Can you pull it off or not? Aaron Carter, you can't pull it off, dog. Has anybody pulled it off? Post Malone. He looks homeless. Yeah, but that's his look. That's that's in style. That's a Vogue look right now to be I think, homeless. And I think Posty can pull it off. Uh -huh. And that's about it. And Mike Tyson. Yeah, well, this is a very famous one that apparently they like to use in movies and get other characters to get them. All I know is we're thinking of you, Aaron Carter. Keep the show going. I'm a fan. <laughs> All right, this is my favorite part right here, the movie review. Daryl and I went and saw Ad Astra, the Brad Pitt space movie, okay? Mm. I was so excited to see it. It's all I've been talking about the moment I saw the review, and this is what I will tell you. Hold on, you gotta tell me what it's about. Okay, I'll tell you what it's about first. <laughs> There's a guy. There's a guy, Brad Pitt. Mm -hmm. And he is like, become this famous astronaut because his dad was a famous astronaut who went farther in space than any other astronaut, but he didn't return in search of extraterrestrial life. That was the idea. Yeah. Life. That was the idea. Sounds like a good movie so far. So Brad Pitt's like, I'm gonna become the famous, the best astronaut in the entire universe, just like my dad was. So he, he does that. Um, but it turns out that there's these weird electrical current waves coming from his dad's old location in space. And they think his father may still be alive. What? What? Is I'm happening? sold. Take my money. Well, these electrical currents are killing people on Earth. They're blowing out bases they have in Mars and the moon. They don't know what's going on. They gotta fix a solution. Somebody should go look for his dad. So the only way that they can find the solution to this is if Brad Pitt goes off and tries to discover his dad's old ship and see if he's still alive or what's happening. And they That's don't really explain it, but I think the idea is that he can talk to his dad when he gets there and be like, Dad, stop. Yeah, what's happening? Come and back I miss home. you, but also stop. Uh, you haven't seen me in 35 years. I'm an, a grown man now. So that's the whole plot of the movie. Go ahead, tell me what you thought. It was terrible. No. <laughs> it was god awful. It's a two on the one to 10 scale. The story doesn't make any sense. There's nothing happened the whole time other than Brad Pitt running around all sad and trying to fly in space by himself. Nothing happened. I completely disagree. I love this movie, uh, but critics don't agree with me. They spent 110 million to make it. They've pulled in 111 million, so they've made a million dollars so far. Because it is a little bit of a messy movie. But here's what I like about it. A little it. bit of a messy movie. Yeah, but A star celebrity, right? A list, I'm into that. And this is a B movie. That's the problem, right? The movie's not great, but he's a superstar. Good. He's a movie star. It was shot really well. It was shot really uh -huh. well. Beautiful I scenery found, I found of skills it. from NASA. And there was there the first half of the movie was pretty entertaining. There's some action, there's some crazy stuff that happens. The dad storyline got a little old for me, but all in all, I still was entertained and I was like, this is cool, I liked it. And it doesn't have to be a shoot 'em up like crazy alien movie to keep my interest. I found it to be a nice film, I liked it. I don't think it has to be a shoot 'em up crazy alien movie to hold interest. But what did you want it to be different if you could change something? Well, I for one, I don't think tiny electrical currents coming from a spaceship. Science fiction. It doesn't have to make sense. Earth and Mars and everything else doesn't make any sense at all. I also feel like when you shoot 
uh, monkeys I'm in sorry. space. Are you a scientist all of a sudden? Is that, I know is that, that did space I miss that? is you a vacuum. science school. You can't be out in space not in gear. You know how long it takes us to get to Neptune from here? Oh no, I've never been. It's like. 12 years. Brad Pitt's not a real astronaut, Brennan. I hate to ruin oh that part God. of the movie for you. But Three hours later. This is Doesn't in the future. Sense. Technology's different, future. monkeys are different, everything's different in the future. The point is, it was a little long. I will give you that. But it was a beautiful movie, and it, it didn't suck. I didn't leave going, I want my money back. Uh, it just wasn't a great, it wasn't a great movie, but it was good. It was a two. <laughs> Solid two. I still love you, Brad Pitt. <laughs> what are you gonna give it? You gotta tell people what a ten. Is. A ten. Somebody has to stand up for this you film, can't damn it. Stand. Brad was a man, and he was a man that didn't show his emotions, and I like that. He was stoic. And he's a damn movie star, and you should show some respect. Oh my God, I'm giving him the respect. I'm giving him a two <laughs> out of ten for this movie because it was not good. I like Brad Pitt. I like his work. I love space movies. This one let me down. Hey, by the way, don't forget to subscribe. And also, we have a Patreon out there if you want to see some behind the scenes footage of all the arguments we get in before <laughs> the cameras go on. Uh, you can go there and find that. That's fun. Yeah, secret reviews as well. Only on our Patreon. Go check it out, guys.